久しぶりのトライアルズ実況を始めるよほんまに久しいなうんごめんよみんな動画を撮りためてはいたんだけど作る元気がなくってねまあええやまた元気よく行こうなうん元気よく行くよ So far, you've learned to gently apply gas and to lean at the right time to avoid faulting. So the next technique to understand is mid-air rotation. When you're in the air, shifting your body weight will make the bike rotate in the direction of the lean. Gentle adjustments of the rider's position will ensure the wheels are always underneath you. Experiment here by getting air, then adjusting the bike to land on both wheels at the same time. Also, don't forget to gently apply the gas to land in a better location. This front grip and back grip are difficult. I don't know. 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 しかも A プラスに届かなかったのが痛恨の極みこれは後でやり直しやねそれじゃ次ステージ行っちゃおうか This is the final trials 101 lesson flow Maintaining a smooth flow through a track is key to getting a faster time On this track I want you to combine everything you've learned so far Lean forward to go up the first ramp then only apply enough gas to land on the downward slope. While in the air, rotate the bike to ensure you land smoothly on both wheels and repeat this until the end. Your goal is to maintain a smooth flow through the entire track. Good luck! スマホ版はフロントグリップで一人が縮むからすっごくやりにくいバックグリップならちょうどいい感じになったな今の感じちゃんと覚えたー電柱にクッション巻かれているだけマジだったね情け深いゴールやったわまた A プラス取り逃がしてしもだったなでもまあ気にせずに次に行くよ You've been given a bike that is heavy and has pretty bad acceleration, but the bike has a high top speed. To get the most out of it, you'll need to master the next technique, transitions. I use the term transitions to describe the rider shifting their body weight when you go from a track to a ramp. If you get the timing wrong, you'll either find yourself doing backflips or have the bike lift off the ramp. As you accelerate towards the ramp, lean back and slightly lift your front wheel through the start of the curve. Stay in that position until your rear wheel is about to hit the steep section. As the rear wheel gets close, shift your body weight forward and continue to lean as you accelerate up the ramp. If you get the timing right, you'll see that there is no slowing down and that you'll carry your speed all the way through the jump. What you need to be focused on is where your front wheel is as it moves through the transition. If you dig your front wheel into the ramp, you'll see the load on the front suspension increase significantly. The suspension will react to this by pushing back and lifting the front wheel off the ramp. If you lift the front wheel just enough to avoid those significant suspension loads, you'll notice a smooth transition onto the ramp. Slight changes in the timing of your body weight shift can have a huge impact, so be patient when you're practicing. Speaking of practicing, now it's your turn. See how far you can get and remember, you can always come back and improve your grade another time. ゴンドラ、ジャンプで登るだけだね。青いならば、そうやな。楽勝というか、飛びすぎちゃった。予想外の失敗やな。もうあんな手間はしないよ。うん、突っ込みどころもなくて困るな。忍者の先輩から見れ
それではしばらくの間ミスを続ける葵ちゃんをご覧くださいうちにトライアルズ大学で単位を取ったし今回はここまでにしようかやっぱコースじゃないと面白いシーンがないなそれはまた次回だねというわけで次回も気長に待っててなまたねー<笑>